But uh, you went on your RV trip. I right? did, yes. Mm. Four days. Yeah, of four days. RVing, 12 hours of live streaming a day. God damn. Right, yeah. Long time, but I think it went really well. At least you got um, your hours in. Yeah, uh, all right. I did, I did get my got got the old hours in. Yeah. <laughs> you know how it is. Uh, yeah, it was really fun. Uh, very stressful. Very very stressful. Very mm. tiring. Of course, um, of course. You wake up one hour of prep and then go live and then one hour of prep and then sleep, mm. rinse and repeat. <laughs> Jesus. And sleeping in an RV is sucks. <laughs> it sucks. Well, it was a pretty big RV though, right? Like, yeah, you got the best bed as well, though. I had the best bed, but it still sucks. Um, <laughs> so what the fuck are you complaining about? <laughs> you had the double bed. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it, <laughs> it's only a double bed. It's not a queen. Listen, listen, it's like it's a cushion. It's a cushion. Okay, and the and so I rented like so when I uh, rented this RV, you could you could take a bunch of things you wanted to rent with it, mm, and yeah. I rented like the sleeping bags and the pillows. Mm, yeah, and I, I mean, you know, I'm not a picky guy, right? Yeah, I mean, okay, I lie. I, I'm a picky guy. That's, that's, cow. that's yeah. cow. I'm a picky guy. Yeah. Um, but for this, like when it's a video shoot, I'm kind of, I'm like, whatever gets it done. Yeah, it's you know what I mean? Yeah, right. sure. It's like, yeah. whatever whatever we do to do. Like you're not yeah. there for a holiday, right? No, no, yeah. if it's a holiday and, and this happened, I'd be like, excuse me. <laughs> but it, I know what I'm <laughs> Where is my king bed? Yeah, it, I, I would have, okay. So we, we rented the sleeping bag pillow set. We got this pillow and it's literally just this like, it's it's just a floatable like device. It's, it's you would blow it up. Yeah, it's like uh, a pool noodle. Yeah, which is like, it's fine. It's fine, but it's like I feel bad when I'm asking like like uh I I got Pete and um, Didas joined me, yeah. and I feel bad when I'm like, hey guys, come join me. By the way, you got to be on camera for 13 hours, and you have to sleep on a on an air, air pillow. Yeah, I, I was just like, I'm sorry, guys, man. I'm like, we can buy real pillows if you want. Like, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. It's, it just sucks because you just want a real pillow sometimes. Yeah. Why didn't you just like go to like a donkey and get a like a cheap ass pillow? Yeah, probably should have done that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. On that. Didn't have much time. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna out myself for a bit. I didn't sleep on the RV. <laughs> yeah, he didn't. <laughs> <gasps> okay, I, I think, okay. I, I, immersion <laughs> ruined. Immersion, I know, I know. So I, I got there on the, on the third day. Mm. And uh, I remember like I had I had a fucking mission getting to the RV on like the first oh, day so itself. Um, and I remember, you know, at the end of the third day, everyone was fucking knackered. And you could tell, right? You, you, you can tell the difference between, you know, Didus, and Pete, who I would say have been creating content for like a less, a, a, a shorter amount of time than I have. Cause yeah. I'm like, when the cameras are off, I'm like, okay, we need to do a shoot tomorrow. I need to be well rested. Yeah. They were being great mates and they will be like, oh, let's let's do the RV experience. It's, you know, we're fine with it. We don't need the pillow. I got there and I remember, I remember asking, so where am I sleeping? And they told me where I'm sleeping and I measured it out and I'm like, I, I can't even, I, I was the tallest one. So I was like, I can't even lay flat, you know? And I was like, do we have a pillow? And they were like, no. <laughs> so I was like, in my head, I was planning out, okay, am I, am I, how am I gonna, am I, how am I gonna sleep? Am I gonna like take my coat out, use that as a pillow? Mm. Luckily there was a, that was the day where there was like an extra, like two beds that they had booked for that day. Mm. I, every day I booked like a, a well, an extra, a bunch of extra beds yeah. in the hotel or whatever, just because it was like, all right, if somebody wants to, I'm yeah. not gonna be like, you have to sleep in the RV. I'm like, yeah. I I'll do it. Cause I feel like it's my thing and I should, yeah. but anyone else I'm like, fuck it, go sleep in the, <laughs> yeah. Sleep in the hotel. Sure, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, after the cameras had rolled off, it was like, you know, 10.30 or something. The staff were like, everyone's knackered. The staff were like, all right, last call. Is anyone going to sleep in the hotel? La this is your last chance. <laughs> and I turn over to like uh, Pete and Didis was like, are you gonna take the bed? And they were like, nah, man, we gotta stay here. We gotta stay here. <laughs> Pete, you stay, you, you, you take the bed? Nah, I gotta stay here, man. I'm like, I'll be honest, guys. I kind of want to sleep in a bed tonight. And we're we're on camera tomorrow for like 13 hours. Yeah. So you just I'm, I'm like gonna take the bed, man. <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough shoots in my life that, uh, cause here's the thing. I remember when I first started like doing IRL content, you know, I really wanted to get involved and immersed. Mm. And now like how many years after Trash Taste, I'm like, I just want a good night's sleep if, yeah. I, if I know I'm, Mm. Making content, you've, you've, you can say that because you've experienced the trash taste road trip. Oh yeah, that's that <laughs> where like that gave me so much knowledge into just how important a good night's sleep is. Holy shit! I, I think it was because of the trash taste yeah. road trip where I mm. was like. I'm gonna be real, Connor. I want a bed tonight, you know? No, we were like, we yeah. were like, yeah, go on, just, just go. We were like, get out of here. Just, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Fuck Understandable. Fuck. Get out. Have a good night. <laughs> I mean, I, I would have done it if there was no option available, because yeah. that's what I signed up for. But I was like, if the option is available, hey, man, I'm gonna it. take it, man. Yeah. I'm gonna take it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay? Yes, I'm weak-willed, okay? Yes, I know, wow. I know, okay? 
It was fine. I yeah. didn't have to. You know? I think what's important that you were on the stream. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Matters, exactly. Right? Exactly. Uh, but it was fun. Yeah, it was great. It was a ton of planning, a, a shit ton of planning mm -hmm. to get it mm -hmm. all to do. Because we had to find like activities to do every day mm, yeah. that was cool and would be interesting. And we had to make sure that we get signal. Mm, uh, and if we didn't, yeah. we had to figure out other solutions. I like, uh, yeah, because I wanted to stream it in basically 4K. Mm -hmm. So, because because Twitch doesn't let you stream in 4K because um, it's terrible in that sense and doesn't let you do it. And I've, I've, I've complained so many times. I'm like, mm. Twitch, please let me stream in 4K. But they say no. Um, so, but you can like still stream in 4K and then down sampled to 1080p and it still looks great. Yeah. yeah. So I really wanted to test out this 4K equipment and test out a, a camera with a better microphone mm. uh, to really try and, and make the IRL stuff feel more, uh, what's the word? Uh, upscale, <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know, like more production. High, higher quality. Yeah, 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 like it feels more like a TV show yeah. where the camera doesn't stop rolling. For right? sure, yeah. yeah. Which has its benefits and has its downsides. But, um, and, and you know, it seemed pretty possible you just need a fuck ton of internet and good internet because mm, yep. you need to you need like five to four times the uh bandwidth of mm. a normal irl stream yeah for mm. a 4k stream so yeah, it's a oh, lot shit. a lot more stuff going on right and it breaks way more often so i you know i kind of kind of was looking around i started asking a bunch of people who knew all this stuff better than me i was like what camera is the best for this also how do i do this and how do i literally do everything <laughs> so you, you go and ask someone like hey what camera do i use then you'd be like you go to the guy who knows how the all the software works like hey will mm. this camera work with this this guy told me to get this camera he's mm. like yeah i mean theoretically <laughs> and then and then and then i needed oh, dude there was so many so many little things that went wrong before i even started the rv trip where i was like i don't even know if this is going to make sense like um the the this new <clears> thing came out Basically like all streamers have like two ways uh, of broadcasting. There's these two like boxes. There's like a more, a cheaper, more custom one that's harder to use. Mm. Um, uh, but the benefit is, is that you don't have to pay like a monthly subscription. And then the one that most people use is this one that you have to pay a monthly subscription for. Yeah. Um, and it's a bit more expensive and has less kind of, uh, what's the word, like uh, customization. Mm. Um, and and that, that company that did that one brought out a bigger one that could do 4K. So I was like, okay, this is, let's do it, let's mm. do it. Yeah. And then it turned out like, to get it to work, you need to do a bunch of weird stuff that was like, what? And then you, and then you have to connect two modems to one USB thing. Yeah. How do you connect two modems to one USB? Well, you need a USB splitter. Yeah. And then that doesn't work for some reason. Yeah. And then I asked the company, had to get them, I had to like speed dial the company and be like, hey, how do I get this to work? Cause in the in the guide it says you can do this. Like, oh no, no, you need a, you need a specific cable that isn't released yet. And I'm like, what? What? <laughs> But then they were like, oh, we can send you some though. And I was like, oh, cool. But like, how was I supposed to know this? Yeah. So luckily they sent me those and they arrived in time. Yeah. This whole fucking headache, this is even before we've even planned what we're doing, mm, yeah. getting the RV, getting, how are we going to film this thing? How are we going to do it? Basically headache after headache. Yeah. We got it to work though. Um, and it looked pretty damn good, I think, for yeah. the most part. Yeah. Like we, we had to get creative with some solutions. So we even bought like a Starlink internet, um, which- uh, Fucking hell. And to get that to work remotely, we had to, I bought like a giant power generator thing. Like a you giant- You didn't use yeah. Garn's one? No, it's a, he, it's he bought like oh, the bigger. final form oh, of oh, that, man. Oh, it's big. Yeah. It's, it's like a, it's a, it's a, like a giant, giant battery that you charge and it takes hours. It's basically just a generator at this point. Right, yeah, it's right. a generator basically. Uh, and then you basically like, we, we, only, we only had to use, luckily, thank God, we only had to use it like once or twice. Mm. Um, because it could get like way better internet than any of the cell phone towers could give us. Yeah. Right. But it's just like, you know, you're, you're trying to stream and then you're like, all right, what's the internet? Oh my God, it's shit. And then you're, you're on camera like, okay, okay. And then you're like, all right, can we, can we, can we get the thing out? Can we hook it all up? And it's like, you're just juggling so many things and you're constantly checking all the text working. Uh, and then there's other stuff like there's a, we have the tracker on the map that shows you where I am, but I have to do that as well. So it's like, you're juggling just like 5,000 yeah, cents. This is yeah. why like, as much as I want to try more IRL streams, I'm just so scared to, cause I do not want to deal with that stress. Like, yeah. It sounds like a fucking nightmare. Well, you can just hire me now and I'll, <laughs> I'll do it for you. <laughs> can, I get a mate, can I get a mate rate or? <laughs> <laughs> we can get a mate rate going. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, and it sucks. Cause it's like, I, I try to show these guys how it all works mm. uh, and like people who I bring along, but it's so tough to, explain to people how a lot of this stuff works and if it breaks, how to fix it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's still like, if something breaks more often than not, it's like, all right guys, gone, entertain. I'm going to go and fix everything real <laughs> yeah, quick. Right. Um, and it's very frustrating, but I think it's worth it in the long run. Mm, like it's yeah. a ton of stress and it's a ton of anxiety um, about if it's if it's working. But I think um, I think the results speak for themselves. It looked amazing. Yeah. What, uh, what activities did you do? 
Oh, I should. Yeah, I've got even yeah. even mentioned. I'm too busy talking about the tech. So yeah, that's the part I spent so much time <laughs> on. Um, yeah, I forgot. Everyone's like, that. but the dolphins though. The yeah. dolphins. Yeah. yeah, we went. Um, so day one we did. Um, we w- so we started in. Um, we picked up the RV in Shin Osaka. Yeah, which is the bullet train stop in Osaka. We drove to Awaji and then we started there. And so mm. day one was just all of Awaji Island, which is beautiful. Mm. It's a stunning island that connects uh, mainland Japan to Shikoku. And it's, it's also a weird fucking island. It's yeah. weird. They have so much touristy stuff though. <laughs> like if you're a tourist, you shouldn't sleep on Awaji Island. It's so cool. They have so much uh, support for English speaking tourists yeah. as well. And they have a shit ton of stuff. Yeah. So much anime stuff on Awaji Island as well. Yeah, they have the Naruto theme park and the Hello Kitty hotel, I think. Yeah. That's all there. Yeah. And a bunch of other, just like, so why is stuff. this yeah. here? So much kind of stuff. Thing, yeah. uh, you know, one of the biggest challenges of doing IRL um, normally is getting permission. Yeah. Uh, and we had such a big rig that where there was no way we could like, you know, kind of go in sneak and- around. Just yeah, hope, yeah. Not yeah. even sneak around, but like hope that it would just kind of be okay. Like mm. we, we had such a big rig that like, uh, we had to get in contact with everywhere and arrange everything beforehand. Yeah. Um, it's so got a career, isn't it now? Yeah. 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 <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Like, apparently I should get a fucking career. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's what I should've been doing. <laughs> but luckily like everything we got permission for, it was all chill and it was great. So day one we did, um, we uh, went did a Zen experience mm-hmm. uh, in this like Bond villain headquarters. Conveniently, that's not a day I was there. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, Pete got the dub on that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah and we, had, we had like fun, we kind of made a fun challenge out of everything. Mm, yeah. uh, and it was like, it, dude, this thing was sick. You guys would love it. You guys would love it. Yeah. It was literally just this wooden, a beautiful wooden structure that just extends over this view of like a bunch of trees mm. and a bunch of landscapes in Awaji. And you can just meditate with a professional, I guess, Zen master. Oh, that's um, cool. Was it the woman that was there? I saw uh, the There clip. was a Thai woman. Yeah, because I, 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 I saw I saw the clip of like the woman introducing you. Yeah. And uh, I was like, I think I hear a Thai accent yeah, there. Yeah, mm. yeah. <laughs> wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. I think his name was uh, Bilal. Was it Bilal? Uh, no, the woman was Bilal. No, the, the guy. The who, guy was Bilal. Yeah, okay, Bilal, yeah, who right. is uh, from Virginia, who had tra- <laughs> trained trained with- uh, You know, uh, the most Zen place Trained with, yo- uh, I think like masters of meditation in, in Japan, but I think they're originally from India, but so he learned everything in Japanese. Oh, right. From, right. I think an Indian guy, I think oh, so. Yeah, not yeah. sure, again. But he he basically just, you know, went through it and he's he was awesome. Mm-hmm. He was up for the banter, even though we were kind of, you know, trying to make a joke or two while meditating. Yeah. It was so much fun. It was great. And then and then we went to do uh, Kawara Tiles, which I, we'd done before. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Uh, but then I, I beat my record and I beat their their local record in that Hell show. Yeah. I saw that clip, man. Yeah. Yeah. That was so fun. That place was great. They, <laughs> they, they had costumes. They, it was literally like this, this like John Wick or kind of, it was so reminiscent of like martial arts fight scenes, the bottom <laughs> floor of this this uh, building. Yeah. It was literally just a factory. Right. But it looked like a set piece of like- Like, a, like an old boy or something? Yeah, <laughs> yeah like yeah. a factory. Cause it, it looked like, it didn't look like a real factory. It looked like a factory in a movie. Yeah. Um, and then just above <laughs> this factory was a Kawara experience where you go and smash them. Hell yeah. And uh, I managed to break 34 tiles, hey. which is fucking insane. I didn't think I could do it. Yeah. And then just, yeah. I was like, oh wow. Did you, did you like, Kind of build yourself up to that. Yeah, we did. Um, we did twenty, and we'd been there for about two hours. I think at that point we were kind of like, all right, we should wrap it up. And I thought, just for fun, let's just give it. Let's let's just add, go to thirty four because we were yeah. going up by five. Mm, and I was yeah. like, just add fourteen, because the record was thirty three. Right. And I was like, fuck it, I'll I'll beat it. Uh, but obviously, I didn't think I was going to beat it. But I thought it'd be visually pretty funny for the yeah, stream. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then somehow was, smashed it. Yeah, you got it. It was the Bruce Lee costume, man. That, yeah. was, uh, that gave you the power. Yeah, it was the Bruce Lee costume. <laughs> and then yeah, did it and that was fun. And then we did like barbecuing. And then day two we did, um, we went from Awaji Island all the way over um, to Shikoku, the Northern part. And then went to Okayama above, just above Okayama and camped there for the night. Oh, so you went through the uh, Seto Naikai like driving trail that we did the cycling special? Did you go through that side or? Oh no, you went no, on the Okayama no, side. side. So the, the other, other side. side, right, right, right. And we drove past like Takamatsu and go up. Yeah, and that's yeah, where we yeah. did like dolphin training mm. and dolphin swimming. And those the dolphins, dolphins, they're so cute. They're so cute. Dude, and all the staff was so kind and they were so nice. And it, you know, and it seemed like they really were like obsessed with the, the, those dolphins. <laughs> it seemed like they really loved it. Yeah. Um, it was fun, man. Damn, dolphins did, are fucking did crazy. They, did they meet the hype? Do dolphins meet the hype? The dolphin hype? I'm still I'm still precarious about dolphins. I've right, right. heard about them. But I think I think we've talked to Malin one too many times. Yeah, yeah. Malin's maybe scared of dolphins. <laughs> yeah. They were cute though. They, they were, were cute. cute. They're so incredibly smart though. Like oh, yeah. and oh, it yeah. shows. Like, oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I th- I'm pretty sure they were smarter than me. <laughs> When I was there, I was like, I, it's, not, it's not a high bar. But yeah, 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 yeah. I had to set the bar Monkey very high. Monkey versus dolphin, right? 
<laughs> but they were cute and very impressive yeah. very intelligent creatures um, yeah yeah and it was nice and the uh that whole what area what do they really feel cool. like because i've i've like like rubber <laughs> really? they look like they're made of rubber. yeah yeah they look like rub they feel like rubber honestly <laughs> like smooth rubber <laughs> i don't know how to describe it it's yeah. like very uh, it's very odd yeah yeah because like, like a wet rubber yeah yeah and that was so cool to stream because the clips of it look awesome mm -hmm. like the the quality of it considering we're just, we're just on a pier in the ocean mm. yeah uh, and we're pretty like far out from the coast yeah yeah um, and it's really just cool like this so it looks awesome yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and again I, I just my whole thing is that like Originally for me, this whole, which sounds so weird to say, like this whole RVs trip was kind of like a test in my mind mm. to see if this could work. Mm -hmm. And, you know, now that I see that it went really well, I kind of want to try and do it again, but maybe bigger and see how I can improve it. Mm. Yeah. Um, make it more more easy on everyone involved as well. So mm. that yeah. it's not exhausted all the time. Mm. Uh, but yeah, the dolphin thing was great that day. And they, they, they taught us about dolphins. They gave us a little quiz about how to- What did you learn? I, I had to tell between a male and a female dolphin. Didn't know that. Oh, okay. Didn't know that. So the one that has the massive cock <laughs> <laughs> is the male. They have, they, have, they have more lines, I guess, or spaces right. where maybe baby dolphins would come out of and where they would do the deeds. Right. Um, uh, that's the difference I yeah. found out. They told us not to put trash in the ocean. Been doing that anyway. <laughs> Been on a good run with that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then we went to, a, went to this open air theater uh, uh, near near the dolphin place, and it's, dude, this this open air theater is sick. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, it's, as in, like, what, like, like a drive-in theater or something? Or what, what's the official? What's the like the actual name? Amphitheater. Yeah. Amphitheater. Oh, okay. It's like, and if you, it's like this stunning theater, and it's behind it is the ocean. Oh and wow! And then if you stand in this one specific spot, your voice like completely resonates so loudly mm. that it's it's like a megaphone, <laughs> but you're just talking. Right. But only in this one specific spot. You have to stand there. If you and you move one step, and then you sound normal, yeah. and you step step in this like exact spot, and it's like boom. It's like <laughs> it's like just gets like absolutely like it's insane physics. I yeah. Don't, yeah, it's like what the fuck? How? How do they do that? I didn't. I, I know it's physics, but like it was yeah. so impressive the just the volume difference. Yeah, yeah. It just blew my mind. We had a little yeah. talent show there. Went really well. Pete won the talent show because of course he did. Because he's so talented. Of course he did. Yeah, <laughs> that doesn't performer. surprise Literally me. Literally the most yeah. entertaining dude uh, right now. Yeah, exactly. And then we had a we had a barbecue uh, while it was snowing in the middle oh, of nowhere cool. where Garn eventually came and joined us yeah. at like one a.m. after the stream ended. Yeah. But we were in the middle of I don't even know. We didn't even use a Starlink that night. But we had we had really good signal in the middle of the mountains. It, near no city. We were like an hour away from any city. I have no idea how, how we had any signal.